Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about issue number 15 of The Avengers, which is a tie-in to the Blood Hunt event, written by Jed McKay. But before we dive into the story, I want to ask you a favor. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and a comment to help the channel grow. Now following the last issue, we pick right up in the thick of battle with the Avengers fighting against the hordes of vampires. So with Cap reflecting a blast, we see the Avengers scattering into battle as Baron Blood challenges our team. So with the challenge out, Steve responded and threw his shield directly at the commander of this faction of vampires. But as you may have guessed, Baron Blood was able to catch it without a problem due to his vampire strength. But what Baron didn't see coming was the fact that Captain America switched out his vibranium shield with one coated with silver. So as the Baron's hand caught on fire, the shield returned back to Steve. So with the battle on, Baron Blood hopped over the railing and landed directly on Captain America's shield. And with superhuman strength, Steven absorbed the impact, just to clothesline the commander right on his back. Now without a moment of hesitation, Baron hopped to his feet, just to see Captain America opening a vent in the ground that led deep into the ship. So following Steve's taunts the Baron was compelled to follow. So with their battle heading into the ship, Hazmat tells Hercules to close his eyes as she lets out a massive explosion of light. Now the light was so bright it completely blinded every vampire around him. So with that massive burst of energy released, Hazmat was left completely disorientated and completely relied on Hercules to help her escape. So with an impressive amount of strength, Hercules crashed clear into the helicarrier. So with Hazmat and Hercules clear, Quicksilver looked around and used his mutant power and a wooden stake to cover their retreat. So as Quicksilver dashed off to do what he does best, we transition over to Steve Rogers running through the corridors of the massive ship with Baron Blood hot on his trail. Now with Captain America able to separate Baron from the rest of his forces, Steve took the opportunity to ask if he was behind the Dark Force users blacking out the sun. To which, Baron stated of course not, though he does like it because it serves his goals perfectly. Because he had been gathering his forces by night and even found himself a splendid helicarrier along the way. But when the skies went dark, he knew it was his time to strike. So with the battle continuing to play out, Captain America once again descended lower within the vessel with Baron Blood in hot pursuit. So as Steve jumped and dashed from platform to platform, Baron continued to talk his stuff as we jumped over to Kate helping humans escape from the flying vessel. Now with the last civilian gone and saved, Hazmat kept up the pressure as both Hercules and Kate rejoined with her. So with the Avengers on the move, they had nothing standing between them and eliminating every vampire on the fortress in the sky. So with the mission clear, Captain America informed Hercules that he believed the ship was operating on a skeleton crew, which would be easy enough to deal with. But unfortunately, the crew wasn't as small as he once thought. Because after Baron Blood tackled him, he filled our cap in on a bit of information. He tells Steve that he only activated the troops he was able to feed, because he had a lot more vampires in reserve. And with that said, the hull of the vessel was filled with a massive army of sleeping vampires. Now with panic filling Steve's heart, he informs Hercules that they have a lot more vampires than they previously thought. But see, that isn't even the worst of it, because Baron Blood also has a lot more prisoners than they once thought as well. So as the prisoners started to beg for help, we jumped back over to Captain America knocking Baron Blood over the edge with his shield in order to create some space. So as Baron stood up and started to brag about his army, Captain America decided to shut his mouth and tossed a grenade towards the coffins and took off. Meanwhile, back in the prisoner's cells, we see Hercules ripping the doors off the hinges and freeing humans. So with that done, the heroes still needed one thing to set the ex-prisoners at ease. And that was a good motivational speech. But unlucky for Quicksilver and Hazmat, both of them were no good at it. So as the heroes thought who among them was good enough, a voice echoed out in the distance. The voice of Kate Bishop saying listen up. And with everyone's attention on her, she said she knows they all are scared and it must be tough on them. And the reason she knew is because she is just like them and is in the same boat. Because she doesn't have any superpowers. But she got something better just like them all, and that is the Avengers. Because at this moment, they have Hercules, the living god, Quicksilver, one of the fastest people alive, and Hazmat, a woman that can deep fry any vampire. So with her team introduced, one citizen asked about Kate's power, to which she responded with one of the best answers. And that is, she is a Manhattan socialite who uses one stick to shoot other smaller sticks. And as it turns out, vampires hate sticks. 
So with that answer given, we hop over to Baron Blood walking into a room covered in fire. And once in, he states a couple of grenades isn't enough to stop him. And to that, Captain America completely agreed, because his goal wasn't to kill him at that moment, but instead his goal was just to get ahead of him. Because Baron should know, out of all people, that Captain America could pilot this vessel. So with the realization setting in, Captain America pulled on the steering wheel as issue number 15 of Avengers come to an end. Now with that out there, if you want to stay in the loop about any individual storyline, then how about you hop over to the playlist section down below or in the link cards above to get all caught up on the Blood Hunt event. So with that established, I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next review.